Hello my lovely pack. Welcome back to another video. This is the third video I have filmed today because uh, I'm doing three of them. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen my last video, uh, check the end screen or the description. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Today we're doing a another episode. This is the tragic case. A tragic disappearing case of Gabby Petito. And I really hope I said her name correctly. But, if you have not but if you could like and subscribe, that'd be everything. Also in the comments, leave hashtag unsolved mysteries and I will pin it heart in your comment. Now, let's get into today's video. The FBI says the investigation into the case of Gabby Petito, again, I hope I said your name correctly, if not, I'm sorry. The 22 old uh, your old woman who went missing captured America's attention since she first disappeared uh, is coming to a close. Petito was reported missing by her family in September after an embarked across the country trip with Brian L uh, Lundry, uh, her fiance. Lundry, who returned to the couple's North Port, Florida, and of course, this happened in Florida, uh, home in early September without Petito left home roughly two weeks later and disappeared sparking a weeks-long search from him in vast Florida nature reserves just said just days into the search lingerie authorities on the other side of the country discovered Petito's remains in Wyoming in a corner rule uh, in a corner ruled her case of death to be uh, strangulation after locals in federal uh, authorities combined the yeah combined through the 25,000 acre reserve in Florida for weeks investigators announced they found Lorenz remains and a medical examiner ruled he died by suicide nearby authorities found a notebook in which Lauren claimed responsibility for Pito's death and FBI says here's how the case unfolded June 2021 Petito's and uh, Laundry, and again, I hope I say their names correctly, embarked on a cross-country trip. According to Northport Police Chief Todd Gunderson, who they planned to travel in Petito's white Ford van to West Coast and visit states, national parks across the western United States, Gunderson says as a news briefing. She had been excited to share her journey with her family and others on social media, he says. She maintained regular contact with her family. Members during the travels, however, that communication abruptly stopped. Around the end of August, the police chief adds, August 12th, Mohab, Utah police have encountered a couple on August 12th where officials described them as having engaged in some sort of altercation. Although the two were described as getting physical into a physical fight, following the argument, both male and female reported that they are in love and engaged to be married and desperately didn't wish to see any charges with a crime, a report officer Eric Pratt says. An officer suggests the couple uh, separated for the night, according to the report, which described Petito as confused and emotional. Implicating of total of the circumstances, I do not believe the situation escalated to the level of a domestic assault as much as that mental health crisis. Officer Daniel Robbins writes in the report, no charges were filed. The couple had their own cell phones in case of emergency, uh, the report adds. And the 911 audio recording from that day provided by the Grand County Sheriff's Office. A caller tells dispatch that he wanted to report a domestic dispute as described a white van in Florida license plates. Again, not surprised this happened from a person with Florida license plates. The caller said as they were driving by a gentleman was slapping a girl. Then we stopped, the caller added, they ran up down the sidewalk he proceeded to hit her hopped in the car and then drove off august 17th 
Laundrie flew to Tampa, Florida from Salt Lake City on August 17th, according to Laundrie's family attorney, Stephen. Okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. I'm just going to call you Stephen. Laundrie flew home to obtain some items and empty and close storage units to save money as they ca com complained uh, extending the road trip again uh, 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 Steve told CNN oh god not CNN on August 23rd laundry returned to Salt Lake City to join Petito uh, the attorney said adding to my knowledge Brian and Gabby paid the flights as they were sharing expenses August 27th. On August 27th, a Louisiana couple vacationing in Jackson, Wyoming, said they saw Petito and Laundry involved in a communicate, uh, yeah, communication, as they were leaving Mary uh, Pigtail's Tex Mark uh, restaurant. Uh, Nina Aguilero, who was at the restaurant with her boyfriend, said Petito was in tears. Laundry was verbally angrily going in and out of the restaurant several times and showing anger towards the staff around the host's stand. A restaurant manager told CNN she saw an incident at the restaurant August 27th but declined to give her name or describe what happened and said the restaurant did not have surveillance video of the incident. Last week of August, Petito's family told police they were last in contact with her during the last week of August. Northport police say before the last communication, Petito believed to have been uh, in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming, police say. In the news conference in September, Petito's family attorney, Woodson Sanford, says the family's last communication with Petito was August 30th, but they did not receive any message. But they do not believe the message was received from her. Stanford shares the timeline of events on September 17th as the family knew, knows it. On September 24th, Petito's FaceTime with her mother and tells her she is leaving Utah and heading towards Teton Range in Wyoming. On August 25th, there were multiple texts between Pito and her mother. The young woman's family believes she is in Teton, uh, Tetons on the date on this date. Okay, August 27th. There were no more texts between Petito and her mother during which her family believes she remains in whatever. On August 30th, her family receives the last text message from Petito. The doubts she wrote that text, according to San, uh, Stafford. The message read no service in uh, Yosemite. Again, I can't even read these names uh, of fucking what these whatever. Also, in September, a woman publicly claimed she and her boyfriend gave Laundry a ride on August 29th in Wyoming, and Laundry claimed that he had been camping by himself for multiple days while Petito was Pito, Petito sorry was at their van working on social media posts. In the series of videos posted on TikTok, uh, Miranda Baker said she and her boyfriend picked up lingerie, lingerie sorry, that evening while he was hitchhiking in Calder Bay, Wyoming. Laundry told them he had been camping at a site outside Grant National Park near the Snake River, he said, or she said. Once Laundry found out Baker and her boyfriend were going to Jackson Hole instead of Jackson, he got uh, agitated, asked that the vehicle stop, and got out near Jackson Dam, according to Baker. Baker said she spoke to law enforcement about the interaction. North Pole Police confirmed to CNN Baker spoke with the department before posting the videos on TikTok. Her account, police, uh, North Pole Port Police. Uh, spokesman Josh Tyler said CNN has not been able to independently verify uh, Baker's claims. Additionally, Norman Jean Jalovic, again, I don't know what's wrong with these names, whatever happened to John and Kevin and shit. A seasonal Wyoming resident told CNN she picked up laundry 
not far from Jackson Lake Dam on August 29th and gave him a ride to Spring Creek Disperred Camping Area where Petito's remains later were found. According to Jelvac, uh, Larry told her he and her, his fiance had a travel bag vlog. She was in their van at the camping area working on a blog and had been hitchhiking along Snake River and Bankment for a few days. Jalovac said that she later provided the FBI with this information. Jalovac said that they arrived at Spring Creek. She, she dropped lingerie off before the gate entrance of the camping area. She, th she said to offers once or twice to take him further, but he was insistent that he be dropped off at the entrance. Laundry uh, then offered her gas money, but she declined and said, Javak said he picked him up around 6.15 p.m., which was just a few minutes after Baker had said Laundry had departed the vehicle. September 1st. Landry returned to the couple's Northport home where his parents also lived on September 1st, according to police. According to advocate uh, attached to search warrant request, a license plate reader shows the vehicle existed uh, Interstate 75 into Northport at 10.26 a.m. ET, Eastern Standard Time if you don't know. The white vehicle Petito and Laundry had been traveling in was later recovered by police at the home. It was preceded, preceded uh, that there was some sort of material authorities will begin going through Taylor, the police spokesperson said at the news briefing. September 6th. The Laundry family goes to a campground about 75 miles away from their home in early September according to county officials. Robert Landry, Brian Landry's mother, was checked into a waterfront site at the Fort D. Satoto campground on September 6th through the September 8th according to uh, Pinal's Country Park's camping ground check-in reports provided by CNN. The Landry's were at the campground in September. 6th to the 7th and left together. Bartino, I hope I said that right, later told CNN. September 11th. After not being able to get in touch with her, Petito's family, who lived in New York, reports her missing to police in Staffield Country, New York. The Northport authorities go to Laundry's home that night and ask to speak with him and his family, but we were uh, essentially headed to the information for the attorney, Taylor, the police spoke person says, at the intent of our conversation with them, Taylor says, September 16th, and later read by Petito's family attorney at news briefing held by the police, the missing woman's family begs for Laundry's family to help the investigation. Please, if you or your family have any decency left, please tell us where Gabby is located. Stafford says, tell us if we're going to even look in the right place. All we want is for Gabby to come home. Please help us make this happen. He says Petito's family reached to Laundry's family earlier in months for information on Petito's whereabouts, but his family refused to answer. We haven't been able to sleep or eat or live our lives are falling apart, Petito's family later adds. September 17th. After several days of Petito's family and the police pleading to Laundry's family to cooperate with the investigation, Laundry's family requests the police come to their home where they share they haven't been Brian, uh, haven't seen Brian since September 14th, according to Taylor, the police spokesperson. We've all been tr we've all been trying week to talk to his family to talk to Brian, but now they've called us here on Friday. We're going to the home, and they're saying now they have not seen how their son Taylor said, tells CNN. Chris Comono is another twist to the story. Now uh, I'm just going to skip later on in the story because it's a long story. So, uh. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip a few a few paragraphs just to 
make this video so this video is not like an hour long or something so let's just uh, skip a few steps shall we so I'm gonna skip to here September 19th human remains were in Taunton country are consistent with the description of Petito FBI officials say in a conference full uh, forensic def uh, identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery, says Charles Jones, FBI, Denver's supervised senior resident against Wyoming. September 20th. The parents of Brian Lurie are requested at their home by the FBI. Christopher and Robin Lurie are escorted from their home to return to federal agents. I get a uh, executed a search warrant according to Taylor the Northport Police. Spoke post and authorities searched their home for hours. Police say they exhausted search uh, uh, venues at the Nature Reserve and searched the has, uh, area has been shifted. September 21st. The Teton Country Corner confirms human remains found uh, Bridget attention at uh, Bridger Tinton National Forest of those Petito according to the FBI. The cause of death remains pending. Final autopsy results, the FBI says. September 23rd. While authorities continue their search for Lorandre at the Colton Reserve at the FBI announces the United District Court of Wyoming issued a federal arrest warrant for him. The FBI warrant was issued, pursued to a federal grant jury uh, indictment for the use of unauthorized devices related to Laundry's activities after Petito's death, the FBI says. While the warrant allows FBI agents to arrest Laundry, Laundry, sorry, the FBI and the partners across the country continue to investigate the facts and circumstances of Petito's homicide. Special agents in charge, Michael Schneider, says in statement, we urge individuals with knowledge of Mr. Laundrie's role in the matter of his current whereabouts to contact the FBI. Laundrie is suspected of using debit card and PIN accounts that do not belong to him of her charges of more than a thousand some, sometime between August 30th and September 1st, according to the indictment. October 12th. After, after the, a detailed investigation of forensic pathologists, authorities, and local law enforcement, with assistance from the FBI, Petito's case of death was determined to be strangulation. Titton's County Coroner, Brent Blue, announces, By Wyoming law, no other information apart from manner and cause of death will be released about the autopsy, Blue says, a virtual news conference. The coroner says Petito's body was found outside in the wilderness for about mm, three or four weeks before being found. Laundry remains missing. Authorities have no explicitly connected to him to uh, Petito's death. October 20th. Weeks into the search for laundry in Florida Colton Reserve, investigators found what appeared to be human remains belonging to items including a backpack, a notebook belonging to laundry. FBI Tampa Davison, special agent in charge of Michael Persons, uh, announced in the evening news conference of October 20th. The items were found in, a, in an area that has been under water until recently, Mr. Prince, uh, person says. I know you have a lot of questions, but we don't have all the answers yet, M Mick Persons added. Earlier in that day though, DeLandre's family attorney said some articles belonging to Laundry were found off the trail he requested. Uh, Okay, I'm not going to pronounce that name. Cre Some Creek and Environmental Park, a site connected to the Colton Reserve. Lundry's parents informed the FBI and Northport Police the night prior to the in uh, intended to come to the park to search for Laundry Pallone said. Law enforcement met them 
there and after the brief search, the family and law enforcement found articles belonging to him, the attorney adds. The Santa Soda Council Medical Examiner and the uh, uh, canvasser dog called the call center reserve area scene and confirmed and tweet on the same day the FBI says items of interest were found in connection with the search and hashtag FBI evidence response team is uh, proceeding the scene the FBI said the reserve is closed to the public no further details are available at this time October 21st the FBI announces the comparison of dental records confirmed to be human remains found a day earlier and those of Brian Lorraine. Earlier Tuesday, Tyler, the police spokesperson, tells CNN that the authorities were uh, found where skeletal remains as well as clothing believed to belong to Ledry. Let's consist that what he was believed to be wearing, says Tyler. Tyler indicates the items have been out there for some time a source of knowledge of the investigation also tells CNN Randy Kay that the notebook discovered among the belongings is possibly salvageable. November 23rd. The District uh, 12 Medical Examiner and Office in Florida says the investigation into Lord's death determined he died by suicide from gunshot, a wound to the head. January 2022. Announcing the case coming to a close, the FBI releases a timeline outlining Petito's death. In January 21st, 2022, the news release agency says after reviewing the, co the contents of the notebook found near Laundry's remains, they found written statements on Mr. Lynch claiming responsibility for Petito's death. Not shockingly. The FBI also confirms it was Petito's debit card Laundry was using without authorization between August 30th and September 1st. On his drive back to Florida from Wyoming, several messages exchanged between Laundry phone and Petito's phone after death were likely Laundry attempt to deceive law enforcement by giving impression that Mr. Petito was still alive. Mrs. Petito, sorry. The agency says they met Petito's family and the investigation will be closed in the near future. All logical investigation steps have been concluded in the case. Schneider and the special agent in charge said in a statement the investigation did not identify any other individuals other than Brian Lurie directly involved in the tragic death of Gabby Petito. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, he's still out there? Do you think that he did it? Do you think he's running because he's innocent? Do you think he was framed? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your opinion. Um, but either way, I still think it's a very tragic death and a very tragic thing that they had to go through. I'm sure they're, uh, I give my sympathies to the family and to the asshole who killed her. This is for you. I don't care if he killed himself. You deserve to die. You took a poor woman's life. But anyways, whatever. He's gone. Um, so please like and subscribe. If you want to see more of these creepy videos, let me know in the comments. It's a pretty awesome series I'm doing on my channel now. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Oh, before I go, please get me to 600 subscribers. I'm still designing what I'm going to be doing for my 600 subscriber special. But please get me to it. You're going to love it. Leave in the comments hashtag... Uh, unsolved mysteries and I will pin and heart your comment. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.